good morning everyone so we will come with a very new lecture over the 3d analysis so before starting this uh, short tutorial video i will just wishing you all, everyone shubho vijaya and happy dashera to everyone okay so and today is the lakshmi puja so happy lakshmi puja to everyone so anyway uh, now we will going to start a very interesting uh, thing which i missed uh, before actually so that is the 3d analysis in arcgis pro it is very interesting you know arcgis pro is a very good software to do uh, the 3d based analysis okay you can do any kind of 3d analysis over here so uh, maybe we will going to touch few things over the 3d today okay as i already showed you few things over the animation part okay you can check uh, in the below videos okay so you, how we will going to do the animations in in the global view so now we will going to discuss few things over the 3d analysis or especially over the digital elevation data okay how we will going to create a 3d even you have a normal satellite image how can you will going to convert it in a 3d image okay without any dem help so that also we will going to discuss today okay so very first you just see here as i open this uh, arcgis pro already so i am just going to add one digital elevation data with this map okay so uh, let's see where is my dem is there so this is the cartosat dem okay so cartosat dem will be there so i am just going to uh, going to select this cartosat dem and i am just going to add it so now normally it will going to add uh, a normal uh, dem attached with this this is a part of the sikkim area which i am going to attach with this okay so now to better understanding i can change the symbology of this color so here i have a options to change the color so i am just selecting that and you just see here very nicely i can able to see the image okay so now next steps what we'll going to do so next steps is i am going to convert it from this 2d view to a 3d view so this is the very big advantage you will get in arcgis pro which will not possible in arcgis desktop so arcgis pro in a same window you can able to convert the 2d scene to the 3d scene okay and if you want you can make a relationship between the 2d and 3d scenes so that is the big advantage in arcgis pro which in desktop will not able to do that arcgis desktop okay so now you just see here how i am going to convert this 2d scene to a 3d scene okay so here simply i am going to this analysis tab okay sorry uh, not in analysis it is under view okay so under view you have this convert option okay so either you can go for the global scene or you can go for the local scene so global scene is basically whenever you require the earth curvature to represent your data something like that if you are if you want to see the aircraft movement or uh, navigation map you want to prepare okay the aircraft uh, traffic map you want to prepare so in that case scenario wherever you require a global data to represent your uh, map okay so then you can go for the global scene but as it, as of now i'm going to use a small area which is just a small sikkim dim area so that's why i'm going to select this sikkim dim part okay so now i am just going to select this convert and here we have this option to select is as a local scene so simply i am clicking this local scene and now you see your 2d map now we'll going to convert it in a 3d and you can very easily do the analysis over the 3d over here okay so that's the advantage you will get it here okay now you see you may ask this questions to me why, uh, you said it will convert it in a 2d to 3d so why not it is showing the 3d data so because it is not showing because now i am going to tilt this image so then you can able to see the 3d view so simply i will select this and i will drag and drop it down okay and see so more you give time and more beautiful view of the digital elevation data you can able to see it over here okay so that is the advantage of the 3d dim okay so this is you just see the view how nicely you can it is coming and most beautiful thing you know if you want you can convert you can do the leveling over this also so that you will get a better information over the map so here you have option here who if you want the imagery with hybrid okay if you select that 
then you will get the every each and every road informations over this um, map also you can able to see it over here okay you just see here you just see here see the the road informations all the river okay so the peak informations all this informations you will get it here so that is the another beautiful part of this arcgis pro which this all advantages we will not get in our desktop in any other uh, software also so this is actually very useful whenever you are going to do any kind of 3d analysis you are performing any 3d analysis then definitely it is a very big things to do now the next part now i created this 2d and 3d okay so if you want you can make a connectivity between this 2d scene and 3d scene means this is your 2d scene okay of the same name and this is a 3d scene suppose you want to make a connection between these two means if you if you want to make zoom over there there also it will going to zoom then how will you make it do the connection so to doing this you just simply drag this window and make it as a separate window you see here now these two are seen side by side but there is no connection because if i am dragging it it is not dragging here so then how will going to make a connection this is we call as a geolinking okay so geolinking also you can do in arcgis pro so that is you can go in a view okay and you have this options view link so once you click on this center and scale so now your zoom will be perfectly match even some cases you require the partial location information then you just see wherever i will move this one okay you just see the exact cursor wherever it will coming so that also it will going to show you in a right side of the image okay this is my hand symbol this suppose i want to select this part so you just see the this part over the 2d scene and 3d scene how nicely you can visibly it will come okay so more you zoom so more you go in that particular location you just see here may you have seen that time ke this is over the hill but now you see how nicely it is and the cursor location is showing the exact location okay so if you want to stop the cursor locations you can stop it or if you want to stop the connection between view link so then you can click on the view link again so now the connection is also stop and you want to make the window again in same window then you can select it here and make it in center so you will get a simple window like this so this is very interesting over the 3d data okay so another important thing is over the 3d you can do any kind of analysis also like suppose i want to calculate the contours okay so you can able to calculate this over here so suppose if i go in a means catalog or you can go to your any kind of geo processing tool analysis under the geo processing tools okay so here you have the surface tool so under the special analysis okay so you have a various spash surface analysis tools okay so you can use this tool to to create a contour to create a specks okay so over the 3d we can do this analysis earlier in arcgis desktop we have this restrictions but here we can do this analysis over the 3d so you can see simply i am just clicking the contours okay i am just selecting the contour okay and you can able to calculate it suppose i am just going to give the dem as a input okay and the contour interval suppose this is uh, 129 to 7418 meter height so i will make it as a 500 meter uh, contour interval so that you will get a proper uh, contour distance okay so simply click on run so now you will going to see the contour will going to generate over this particular tip so so these are the uh, few advantage you will get in arcgis pro over the 3d okay you can do the various types of analysis over here okay so it will take few minutes time so then it will come to you okay so so these are the advantage you will get in arcgis so these are the uh, few contours maps which you will going to prepare like this also okay so now i am just uh, removing all these informations now now we will going to create few more things over the 3d okay so like uh, we are actually creating this so why not we will going to create some 3d based analysis suppose i want to create a cross profile then how we will going to create a cross profile over here okay so that also we can able to see it over here okay so suppose i just want to laser like if i want to store some I uh, create a dam and I want to store some water over here. Okay, so then how we'll going to create it? Okay, so that also we'll going to discuss. Okay, so there is one one tool. It's called 3D base analysis tool. So you can use it. 
so under the analysis you have this uh, explorer 3d analysis tool so under this you have this elevation profile so uh, you can create the elevation profile also so that day also i showed you uh, in global uh, scene or in arcgis earth the similar kind of things you can create okay like this profile view also it will going to create over this place okay so see here it will take few minutes time then it will going to create this part also okay it's based on your uh, a little bit of your interconnectivity and all and you just see here so each and every point height you can very easily measure from this particular cdp okay so this is the one of the part of the 3d analysis then another part which i just told you about the cut and fill part like how much water it can store if i create a dam here so you can use this cut and fill tool so you can simply uh, draw a rectangle over here okay so you can create a rectangle whatever you feel good suppose i'm just creating this rectangle i can create a height also okay according to zoom level i can create the height also okay and you just see it will going to show you the cut and fill area of that particular part okay so like this also you can create or you can create make it a little bit fresh or just take some part i'm just going to take suppose this part okay so you can use this part also for the using the cut and fill tool okay so either you can close this and go to the analysis 3d exploratory cut and fill you can take it and then you can make it a point like this yes okay so here you can adjust the height and see this is the cut volume and the fill volume it will going to give you this here so that is the advantage you will get for the cut and fill tools using of this cut and fill tools using of this profile tools okay so the various tools options you will get it under the 3d exploratory tools okay so this is also very nice things over the 3d okay so so, so we can discuss few other things over the 3d like exclusion and exclusions okay let's see how we're going to do that okay so now uh, we will see another part of the 3d that is uh, the building exclusions okay like this is the 2d buildings of the varanasi some part of the city okay and in the 2d map i am just opening it so similarly same thing i am just going to do i am just converting it over the local sim so that i will going to create it over um, the the 3d scenes okay so that i can exclude the building height and i can will going to show you how we're going to make a 3d over this image okay so uh, let's see so first is very first thing is you can uh, just uh, going to drag like this so 3d scene just you see here as of now the building is not excluded okay so what we did what we did here we can simply uh, go to this building varanasi i'm just going to selecting it that and you have your options for the feature layer you can select the feature layer and here you just options for the types so you can select it and select this minimum to height okay and now uh, you have uh, options for giving some equations like in the equations i am going to use this vb script suppose okay and height height i'm just going to multiply with okay so suppose 2 i am just multiplying okay so let's see how we're going to do that see here okay so this is how we will exclude the building height and we can going to show you this is a part of the baranasi uh, smart city okay and these are the buildings which have in a 2 meter so i'm just doing the scaling okay whatever the building height i can make it accurately also but that will be going to show you little low so looking it better to visualizations i'm i'm just going to multiply it at two so if i multiply with the one so exact whatever the building height so that will going to show you over the 3d okay so this is all about the some of the uh, informations about the 3d okay so there is 3ds you can do so many things over the arcgis pro so definitely we will going to discuss and if you have any questions please give me in the comments okay so and i i am sure you will be feel very interesting this 3d based analysis okay so please stay with me and uh, please subscribe my channel okay and give your comments and share this video to others thank you thank you very much all